Am I the asshole? For not backing down on my daughter's teachers calling her the proper name? My daughter, Alexandra, hates any shortened version of her name. This has gone on since she was about 10. The family respects it and she's pretty good about advocating for herself should someone call her Lexi, Alex, etc. She also hates when people get her name wrong and just wants to be called Alexandra. She took Spanish in middle school. The teacher wanted to call all students by the Spanish version of their name provided there was one. So, she tried to call Alexandra, Olahondra. Alexandra corrected her and the teacher respected it. She had the same teacher all three years of middle school, so it wasn't an issue. Now, she's in high school and is still taking Spanish. Once again, the new teacher announced if a student had a Spanish version of their name, she'd call them that. So, she called Alexandra, Olahondra. Alexandra corrected her but the teacher ignored her. My daughter came home upset after the second week. I am not the type of mom to write emails, but I felt I had to in this case. If matters, this teacher is not Hispanic herself, so this isn't a pronunciation issue. Her argument is if these kids ever went to a Spanish-speaking country, they'd be called by that name. I found this excuse a little weak as the middle school Spanish teacher actually was Hispanic who had come here from a Spanish-speaking country and she respected Alexandra's wishes. The teacher tried to dig her heels in, but I said if it wasn't that big a deal in her eyes that she calls her Alejandra, why is it such a big deal to just call her Alexandra? Eventually, she gave in. Alexandra confirmed that her teacher is calling her by her proper name. My husband feels I blew this out of proportion and Alexandra could have sucked it up for a year the school has three different Spanish teachers, so odds are she could get another one her sophomore year. Am I the asshole? Not the asshole but the teacher's reasoning was off. If I went to a foreign country and told them my name was Anthony and they started calling me Antonio, I tell them it was Anthony and that's what they'd call me. It's different for a person who has worked hard to be called by their correct name to have it changed than for a person with a generic name. For example, someone named John goes through life with his name correctly pronounced and it's fun to be called Juan for an hour. Her argument is if these kids ever went to a Spanish-speaking country, they'd be called by that name. That's not true and quite stupid. John can be John in any country, no one would call him Hans. Juan or Giovanni against his will, just because there is a local version of his name. Not the asshole. I think it's cute to use the Spanish versions of names in Spanish class, but if a kid doesn't like it, then back off. Not the asshole. My husband feels I blew this out of proportion and Alexandra could have sucked it up for a year. She could have, but she shouldn't have to. Good for you for having your daughter's back. Too bad your hub didn't. What is happening in these comments my god lol. Yes, you're the asshole and so is your daughter. I'm in my mid 40s and when I took Spanish in school 30 years ago it was the same thing. Why is this a big deal? It really shouldn't be. My name doesn't translate to Spanish so my teacher gave me a different name. This is absurd to be so upset about this. You both sound childish. Ita, not because you're wrong, but you're teaching your daughter that the world will cater to her every need and want, and that in the teacher's classroom, the teacher isn't the one in charge, mommy is, and she is. The teacher standing her ground was silly, but you actively undermined the teacher. It's gonna be hard for the teacher to remain neutral towards your daughter now. I know I wouldn't be. It's a silly thing for your daughter to get worked up about, and you could have taught her that. You're the asshole. Was prepared to say NTA thinking this was a history math English class, but this is pretty typical for a foreign language class. My name in Spanish class was Jose which bore no resemblance to my actual name. If this is such a problem for your daughter, I feel bad for her because she is going to lead a very unhappy life. And you sound exactly like the kind of mom to send emails. 
I used to be a goof in university and this girl on my dorm was named Jess but I jokingly called her Katie even though I knew her name. After like two weeks, I thought about it and asked her if she thought that was funny because I was just trying to be silly. She told me it really upset her but she was too quiet to say anything. I felt like a complete ass deservedly and apologized. After that, I made a promise to myself to always call people the name that they want to be called, with proper pronunciation as best I can. You're the asshole and so is your daughter. It's Spanish class FFS. When I took French in high school a lifetime ago we got to pick a French name we could practice with and it didn't even have to be your real name. Mine definitely was not a French version of mine. I picked a whole different name. And when I'd write my papers it would be my first name French name and last name. It was just a fun expression of names we might run into during conversations. Edit to add not the asshole since I don't pay attention to subnames lol. Not the asshole. This could be a fun thing for the kids, but the teacher should respect the pushback. Her logic also makes no sense. I work with a large number of European colleagues. I don't pronounce their names in my accent, and they don't pronounce my name in theirs. We all call each other the name as it's introduced to us. You're the asshole. And we wonder why no school district can find teachers who are willing to put up with this kind of nonsense. You're the asshole having your name changed to the Spanish version during class is part of the immersion. It's fine not to want to participate, but both the daughter and mother having a mini meltdown over this is ridiculous. I'm Puerto Rican and I have a cousin whose name is Alexandra. Nobody had ever insisted in calling her a different name. Not a big deal. Not the asshole. I support people being called what they want to be called. But I do not believe this is an issue with identity, or respect. I would advocate being resilient and accepting that things aren't always going to go their way. Teachers won't always be nice and accommodating. Neither will people in general. It's awesome when they are, but a person can burn themselves out real quick by not rolling with the punches. I majored in Russian. The Russian version of Stephen is Styopa. In college, I went to Russia several times, Ukraine a few times, Azerbaijan, Poland and since then about a dozen other countries on three other continents. In every country I've been to, I've been called Stephen regardless of the linguistic variation. You're the asshole. It's Spanish class. I got called Lucia instead of Lucy. Your daughter's Spanish version of her name isn't even that different. Part of being a linguist is learning how to pronounce appropriately, names included. I've taken however many language courses, and in each of them, the students all were addressed by the version of their name in that language. Nobody was picking on your daughter. It's really pretty standard. Was this the hill worth dying on? Soft you're the asshole. You're the asshole, but only because you and your daughter sound a bit bratty. I can't stand people who can't go with the flow and throw fits about it. The teacher is not the asshole because all she did was what she's always done. Even if she explained why it's done wrong. Not the asshole. Spaniard and translator here. You never translate a name. We also have Alexandra as a different name. Same with Alejandro, Alex and Alexander for boys. The teacher is full of SHT. These names share meaning and origin but that's it. Not the asshole. Some of yours reasoning is really dumb. Like sorry but if I'm telling you my name is this and you're pronouncing it differently I'm going to correct you on it every time. It'd be different if the teacher would have said this is how your name sounds in Spanish. Would you prefer this one or your English name? The teacher could have easily made it a teaching moment and still respected the student's wishes. Edit also it's not entitlement to correct someone on your name. It's called respect and it goes both ways. My sister's name is Kim. Just Kim. It's on her birth certificate. Teacher insists on calling her Kimberly. Kim doesn't respond to Kimberly, it's not her name. 
Teacher gets mad and yells at Kim Kim tells mom. Parent teacher conference goes as following her name is Kim. She will respond with Kim. If you call her Kimberly, she has my permission to not respond to it. If you have a problem with this we can have a conference with the superintendent. Do you still have a problem with her given name? No? Good. Let's move forward then and have an educational year free of controversy. Names are important. I started pushing back on nicknames in the first grade. It's been a lifelong struggle, as my name was extremely common in my generation, and it was a time when Susan was always called Susie, and Rebecca was always called Becky. Not the asshole. As a person raised in Latin culture, I have seen how demoralizing it can be for people to not get your name.